The graphic you're viewing on screen right now was created with Adobe Illustrator, and you're seeing it within the Illustrator interface. If I publish it to a website, it should appear the same, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Creating graphics with a design tool that doesn't accurately display your content in the chosen medium, well, that seems pretty counterintuitive to the whole design process. But this is a feature of Adobe Illustrator, not a bug. In this clip, I will show you how you can indeed get a more accurate rendering of your web graphics without ever having to leave the Illustrator interface. So while I'm viewing this graphic here in my web browser, I'm viewing it at actual size. Now this is the same size I'm viewing it inside of Illustrator, but it looks almost exactly the same. There's some subtle differences here. And if we put them side by side, you might be able to see those. So right out of the box, it's not too bad. It looks pretty close to what I had in Illustrator. But what happens if my monitor or my device decided to resize this graphic? Or maybe just my viewer decides to zoom in on this graphic in the web browser. Well, let's take a look at what happens. So I'm going to zoom my browser window here. And I'm just going to zoom up. And you can see as I get higher and higher in the zoom percentage, my graphic starts to degrade here a little bit. It's getting a little fuzzy, a little pixelated. And so the smooth curves and straight lines are not so smooth or straight anymore. Well, let's see what this looks like over in the Illustrator interface. So now we're back over here in Illustrator, taking a look at that same graphic at exactly the same size, that 100% size. But what happens when I zoom in on this graphic? So my keyboard shortcut here is the Control and Plus. Now, if you're on a Mac, that's gonna be Command and Plus, and that's simply a zoom in. So I'm gonna hit that once, and that's gonna zoom in 150%. If I hit that keyboard combination again, that's 200%. And so the graphics are staying nice and smooth. You see, I'm not getting that real blurry appearance. In fact, if I continue to zoom in, I never get that blurry appearance. And that is a feature of Illustrator. We want these nice smooth curves for a lot of the work that we do inside of Illustrator when it comes to printing publications or even publish them in, as PDFs. But when it comes to web graphics, this is not very accurate. So Adobe built in this pixel preview mode to help you simulate the web environment right here inside of Adobe Illustrator. So to turn this on, we're just gonna go up to the view menu and right here, pixel preview. Note the keyboard shortcut because I'm gonna begin using that here to compare and contrast the two views. So on a PC, that's Alt-Control-Y. On a Mac, that would be Option-Command-Y. So I'm gonna to toggle this on, and now we see the pixels. So when this artwork is converted to, say, a JPEG or a ping or even a GIF, it has to be rasterized. It has to be converted to pixels. And so now Illustrator is displaying those pixels at this resolution here, this 1600%. So as you can see, it looks pretty bad here. Let's zoom out. So that's gonna be the keyboard shortcut of control minus, that'd be command minus on a Mac. And we can see, okay, now it's not looking too bad. Let's go back to the 200%. Now, once I get down to a certain level, that pixel grid disappears. But now we can still see this jagginess or this pixelization of my graphics. They're nowhere near as smooth as they were before in the normal preview mode. But if I go ahead and zoom all the way out to the 100% size, it's really not too bad. Now, as a web designer, it would probably be in your best interest to go ahead and toggle on the pixel preview as soon as you start working with Illustrator. Because in this pixel preview mode, I can still work with my graphics. I can create new graphics. I come over here, I'm gonna grab one of the shape tools and I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle. If I grab a line tool, I can drag out a line. I can even scale objects. If I come over here, and I grab my scale tool, maybe I want to scale the line I just created, maybe make it a little longer like so. 
If I select the rectangle, maybe I scale it up. So I can do all of the transforms, all of the normal edits in this pixel preview mode as I would in just a normal preview mode inside of Illustrator. Now, previewing your work in one of Illustrator's native viewing modes is perfect when you're creating or editing artwork for print or maybe even a PDF. But when it comes to previewing your artwork for the web, switching to Illustrator's pixel preview mode will give you much more accurate results. And using this specialized preview mode will also help you to quickly identify and correct any visually distracting errors in your artwork before you publish it to the web.